Hi, welcome to this video on converting percentages to decimals and fractions. In this video, we'll show you some easy and not so easy methods for converting percentages. We use decimals in every part of our lives. You see decimals when dealing with money, measuring distance, measuring how much something weighs. There are decimals literally everywhere you look. But before we look at conversions, let's do a quick recap on percentages. A percent is any number that is a part of 100. The word percent literally means per 100. For instance, 25% 25 is 25 of 100, and 64% 64 is 64 of 100. But how do you convert the percentage into a decimal? Well, there are actually two ways you can do it. The first way is by using math. We've already established that percent means per 100. Using 25, 25% is really just 25 per 100. If you divide 25 by 100, you get 0.25, which is a decimal. But there's a much easier way to convert to a decimal, and it's something I like to call the math two-step. Just move the decimal in your percentage two places to the left. Let's use 25% as our example. 25 has two digits, the 2 and the 5. Our decimal is after the 5. Moving the decimal two places to the left gives us 0.25. As always, remember to remove the percent sign when you're done. Simple, right? But what if your percent number is over 100%? Maybe you have 125%. Well, the same applies. Move the decimal point two places to the left. You would move past the 5, the first point, and past the 2, the second point, and end with 1.25. Now that we've got that down, let's look at converting percentages into fractions. This conversion has a few more steps. When you convert a percentage to a fraction, you first convert your percentage to a decimal, then divide that number by 1. Let's say with 25 again. 25% 25 becomes 0.25. Now we divide that by 1. Next, for every number after the decimal point, multiply by 10. Since there are two numbers after the decimal in our example, we multiply 10 twice. If there were four numbers after the decimal, we would multiply 10 four times. The multiplication factor is essential to remember. You're not adding 10 after each decimal point. You're multiplying. In this case, you'll multiply 10 times 10, which equals 100. So you'll multiply the top number and the bottom number by 100. 0.25 over 1 times 100 over 100 equals 25 over 100. Now, you have to simplify the fraction. You do that by finding the highest number that divides the top and bottom numbers equally. In this case, the answer is 25. 25 is the highest number that equally divides both 25 and 100. Here's how the equation looks. 25 over 100 divided by 25 over 25 equals 1 over 4. And there you have it. The answer is 1 fourth. That's our look at converting percentages to decimals and fractions, with a little simplification thrown in. By following this lesson, you should have a firm base for these calculations, which prove useful in many areas of our lives. Thanks for watching and happy studying!